Welcome back to Cruznik Sanctuary, Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker, and somehow further Hildebrand Adventures. Um, for some strange reason, Firax and Coralash, uh, Coralash's, uh, PNG avatars have disappeared. We have? This is not good. <laughs> that is no way. This is the mystery that must be solved. Yes, give me a sec. Urkus. I became a blue mage. Oh god. Wait, you you finally gave in and went to blue mage? I mean, I've technically had the class for quite a while to level it up, but yeah, we'll go with that. Where am I? It's the question that must be answered. Um. I'll, I'll tell you what it is. It's aliens. Aliens are doing this. You always think aliens are doing some shit to you. Because they are. Um. At least they haven't start anal, started anal probing yet. I know, such a disappointment. For you? What, you want to be no, anal pro, Daria? No. Not with I, I want to know what they're... I want to know what they want to learn up there. <laughs> Not now you've eaten some involved. pretty gross things in your life, dude. That's what they'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> not unless it uh, not unless it involves the fluffy purple bunny. Plug. All right, I know how to do this. Uh. There we go. That's what I needed to do. Shut down source when not visible. There we go. I should probably do it for my own and Aria's as well. Okay, uh, there we go. Good. Okay, now everything works. Sorry, technical difficulties, because this is new tech I'm working with. Uh, anyways, once again, we're playing Final Fantasy XIV and Walker and further Hildebrand Adventures. Last episode, Poo Poo was feeling a little under the weather due to the common cold. Where have we I've heard this from? I've got a magic from? trick. My blue mage is better. That's what she said. Anyways, um... Thanks to Brandy Hild, we did find the ingredients to make a potion that heals Master Poo Poo. And then we got assailed by Lugay. And uh, now we're back on to trying to find Poo Poo's um, missing comrade. The search is leading us to Charlian for lack of any other leads. Anyways, let's get right down to it with the next quest. Not from around here. Charlie and awaits. We need only charter a suitable sea vessel. Of course, but does not the city lie many days sail to the north? Is there no swifter means of reaching our destination? So this experimental etherite will allow us to teleport thither, and, uh, even absent attunement. Splendid. Then we shall avail ourselves of the technological marvel forthwith. Oh, great. Huge summoning. Huge ether sickness. Joy. All right. Mount up, peeps. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, we didn't need to take it. Yay! <laughs> oh, 
Of okay. course, it's yeah. Deli. Of course, it's Delion who's feeling. Yep. Oh God! Say. Eh. So Delion got a ether sickness. Okay, give me a sec. All right, let's talk to Hildebrand. So this is the city of learning. A sophisticated gentleman should feel right at home here. How <laughs> uh, uh, I'm not sick to your stomachs. make traveling exponentially more fun. Sometimes I feel as though I'm the only person in this group of us eccentrics. But, but this is not the time to succumb to nausea. Not here in the belly of the beast. Rumor has it the Charlian secret agents travel the stars in search of specimen they collect and bring home in service to a confidential research project. Said project is conducted in a huge underground military facility. If we're to find answers, then that's where we'll need to look. S Labyrinthos. Not a military facility. I say, this Labyrinthos sounds promising. I say we head down there and making inquiries as to the whereabouts of our missing alien friend. We simply take a lift from the Hall of Oddities, yes? Let us be on our way. Okay, I, I got lost at the I got lost on Dillian saying he normal. Yeah, I know. That completely lost me. <laughs> Compared to Hildebrand, <laughs> Delion freaking seems Somewhat sane. I guess it's so on how you look at things, I suppose. Where'd Arya go? I'm coming. Damn, you took the long path, babe. And you're going the wrong way. There you are. Though, honestly, I'm surprised none of you thought to take the ether right. That would have required thinking. And I didn't think it was that far away. Walking's fun. And I beat you here. So. Yeah, because I was waiting for the other one of our number. The fairer of the two sexes. Hey. What? You are fairer. Tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong. Oh, I get it. You you want me to give smack you upside the head for doubting yourself for the umpteenth time? No. I want you to respect me as a fucking equal. You are. You are equal. But you're still fair. But you're still fairer. Anyway, let's talk to Hildebrand. Ah, these must be the lifts in question. 
This is going to end swimmingly. Do you wish to descend to Labyrintho, sir? My apologies, but each of your companions must also secure the proper permissions before we can allow them entrance. If it is assurance as you need, then surely a single glance is all you require to judge us trustworthy. Yes. Trustworthy. Yeah, sure. This is a... <laughs> <laughs> I could certainly make some judgments, but that is neither here nor there. Admission to Labyrinth those are subject to foreign policy. Mm. You're the ones we sh who should be judged. I know you're hiding aliens and, ze and xeno technology in the underground base of yours. Admit it. Xeno technology? I sincerely have no idea what you're talking about. It's two of us. Oh ho! Yet again do our paths cross in most serendipitous fashion. B Father, what presence brings you to Shorlian? I am in search of a certain object, one crucial to the continued refinement of the Mandeville weaponry. My investigations lead me to believe it is to be found here in Labyrinthos. And as you also seem to have business down below, this is my son and his bosom companions. If I vouch for their character, will you kindly allow them to board the lift? Ah, Master Godbert Mandeville, the forum sent word of your impending arrival. As a member of the syndicate, your ambassadorial sta status affords you an entourage of a group of up to five members. Pray, consider their permissions arranged. I know not your How convenient. Current... Yeah, I know, right? I know not your current mission, but for the time being, I suggest you accompany me to the Archeon. And of course, this dude gets stopped. Uh. <laughs> though you would think... Though... In all fairness, you would think he would be the fifth member of the crew to gain admittance, because we're already we're already allowed entry. That includes, po that includes poo poo though. Yeah, but that's that. Let's poo check poo poo, Dillian, um, Nashu Man and Hilda, uh, Hildy, and the uh, his clone. Oh yeah, I forgot that's Brandy Hild. Watch him say he knows the Warrior of Light. That. Anyway, mount up, fools. To the Archeon. Alright. Let's speak with Hildy. From what Father tells me, this storage facility is replete with samples and specimens collected from every land on Aetheris. If anyone has information concerning visiting aliens and craft starships, it will be these studious folk. A shiny silver saucer. I'm sorry, but we have no record of any such object in our archive. Neither hold nor in part. Or so you would have us believe. But the purpose of this complex, this military fortress, is plain. You cannot deny that you are conducting secret research on alien starships. We are not conducting secret research on alien starships. 
Yes, we did build a star-faring vessel in Thomasine, but that it was neither for military purposes nor of extraterrestrial origin. Disguising your foul lies with a sprinkling of the truth, are we? Fine, I'll dig up the facts myself, and then everyone will hear what you're really up to. That boy is too priest short of a molestation racket. Mm. While I cannot assist you with your missing craft, I do recall seeing an individual of like appearance to your companion here. You? And where was this, pray tell? At Mariel Ergonomics, in the medial circuit. The lift at the back of the building will take you down there. Many thanks, my good man. Well, well, it seems you found yourselves a solid lead. I have my own search to attend to, so I shall bid you good hunting and good day. Another round of in-depth inquiries by the Agent of Inquiry. And friends is in order. To marry all organomics we go. Yep, let's keep on doing this. Shaman has to be without our little Lalafell companion. Mm. Oh well. They'll find a they'll find a way. Yep. All right, Peeperinos, mount up. Whoops. Hit the wrong button there. Jeez, I got Rigo. I got Rigo. Now I got freaking Garo. Um, wait, which one is this? Goten. It's G it's Goten, Jinga, and Rigo. Then. Let's fly. Wait, where's Arya? Oh. There you are. Okay. All right, let's start with this Midlander agriculturalist. Aria, would you like to do the honors? Uh, yeah. Give me a second. Your description would lead me to believe you're looking for one of the Magna Gaudias, thereabouts. But if, as you say, it's something else you're after, then I'm not sure I can be of much help. I only just started working here, so you may have more luck asking the older hand. Alright, let's try this Highlander Agriculturalist. Horlash, would you like to do the honors? Sure. Ah, you must be talking about one of those new Mandragora strains. We whipped up a batch of bright blue stray onions, but I'm afraid they started to rot almost. Hmm, not a Mandragora, you say? Well, the only other bluish thing I think of are the grapes. Look how lu luscious this crop turned out. To I still miss the old grapes. 
Rest in peace, 6.0 yeah. grapes. You will be missed. Appar Apparently they turned them into a stuffy. Mm. Yeah, they did. They did. It was funny. Alright, let's talk to the Lollafell. Yes, the little blue man. Oh, wait. Is that a boy or a girl? I get... I can it's never... It's a film. No telling. It's a yes. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's a... Boy I only say... because. Yes, the little blue man. I saw him with my own two eyes, I did. And it was no mandragora. A Galena and the company of an outside visitor passed through a little while back. Nothing too unusual there, only this, uh... Friend, you described, was scuttling along with them. I know not what purpose brought them to the farm or whatever it was. They didn't tarry here long. Alright, let's talk to Hildy. I've got your Mandragora right here. Really? Nice. Aria, you coming? Yeah, just give me a second. Talk to the parents. Uh huh. Mm. Well, while we, well, while we wait, we might as well go back to the grapes for a second. They made them rounder instead of you know the block shape that they used to be. Sorry about that. It's all good. All right, now that we've... Please don't tell me it's about to rain here, too. Possibly. Anyway, let's talk to Hildebrand. <laughs> Wonderful. That corroborates the information I bought moments ago, skillfully squirreled out of this farmer. She claims to be an acquaintance of the Gleaner in question, in fact, and will bring him to talk to us shortly. Let's round up the others. We shall all be present to hear what revelations this professional collector has to share. You're the folk asking about the little blue man, yes? Oh, and you brought someone who's practically identical. You must be the same species, surely. My friend was really here then? They <laughs> certainly were. If you have a moment or three, I'll tell you the whole tale. To begin at the beginning, I was in Thavnir on a procurement mission when I crossed paths with an apothecary and his unusual companion. As I mentioned, the companion was almost your twin in appearance, and the wagon they rode upon bore a damaged vessel the likes of which I'd never seen before. Could it be? As a collector by trade, I have a certain weakness for oddities. Thus did I hail the apothecary to inquire about after his company and his cargo. The man was only too happy to share his story. He had, it seemed, quite recklessly plunged into the war-torn lands of Golomol to sell his wares, reasoning that where there was conflict, there would be a need for medicinal goods. The state of affairs was rather more volatile than he anticipated, however, and he was soon forced to abandon his venture. And so the apothecary began his long trek home, only to shortly thereafter discover a strange silvery ship and its shaken pilot crash-landed in a snowfield. It cannot be a coincidence. The story continues. After extricating the battered vessel and its occupant from the snow, he brought them home to Radzat Han. His guest wished to make repairs to the craft, yet even amongst the wonders of the bazaar, they struggled to find suitable parts. Hearing this, 
I suggested they bring the wreckage itself to Labyrinthos, and after they agreed to the idea, I escorted them here myself. Alas, even the Thaumazian engineers who worked on the Ark were stymied by the exotic ship, finding its technology impossible to comprehend, let alone replicate. The little blue fellow eventually resorted to drafting schematics. While the engineers followed these step by step to craft the essential bits and bombs, the apothecary and his companion were waiting here at Marion. And then what happened? Well, once our industrious visitor had what they needed, they repaired the vessel in a twinkling. The pair then departed almost immediately, and I've seen neither hide nor hair of them since. I'm told the apothecary paid a handsome sum for the engineer's services, but, being typical Charlians, I wager they would have happily forfeited the coin for a chance to pour over every square elm of that ship. Now, I'm no scientist, but I'm beginning to think such an incredible vessel must have been some kind of starfaring craft. And that little blue man, well... He must have been an alien from another world! Or so I'd like to believe. I'm an avid reader of the Thavnarian truth, you see, and I love to entertain these idle flights of fancy. But I've rambled on too long. There are endings to it there are errands to attend to, and I really must take my leave. Good fortune to you. Can it be true? I have a readership in Charlie. Perhaps I misjudge these people. Could seem your comrade is hale and healthy, Master Poo Poo. And in the company of a Hornish alchemist of undisclosed description. Yes, this is wonderful news. I am grateful indeed that we made the journey. I have a, I'm a feeling this case will soon draw to a close. Come, let us return to Radzatan and continue the search. Yeah, I already feel like this was just a complete circle jerk. Mm -hmm. okay, where are we going? We are going back to Deleon, most likely. Oh, Hildebrand. Okay. Let's give Arya a second. I just saw her poured in. That. Oh no, that was a uh, Carissa. Oh wait, no, and Aria. To the left. All right, let's talk to Hildebrand. To summarize our fighting. We now know Master Poo Poo's friend is safe and in the company of a honest gentleman, and possibly here on this very isle. Oh, that does sound promising. Father, you returned to the city. I trust this means your own investigation was successful. That it was. Although laying hands on the subject of my desire has been a long and frustrating ordeal, to say the least. Much painstaking research revealed to me the existence of a hereditary Mandeville relic, within which slumbers the secrets of weapon augmentation. Yet, though I turned our ancestral home upside down, I failed to unearth the artifact in question. The reason for its absence became clear when I chanced upon the journal of one of our forefathers. He wrote of a visiting scholar's keen interest in the relic, and how he thus surrendered it to, into Charlie's safekeeping for study. 
tale led me to Labyrinthos. As it turns out, the Sholians never did find time to conduct their analysis. The custodian and I found the curio tucked away in a dusty corner of the Archeon, still awaiting processing. And here it is! An oddity every bit as perplexing as Godbrand's cipher-bound manual. How are we to liberate this hidden wisdom? Oh, I can help you with that. These devices were made by the Mandervillians, a star-faring race with whom we once traded. Star-faring? Mandavillians? Yes, a highly evolved species with a mastery of advanced technologies. Our people's shared ideas and inventions. So I am quite familiar with your family's relic. If you so wish, I can have the device project whatever images were stored upon it. A darkened room would afford us the clearest view, however. Let us retire to our rooms in Kama and dim the lanterns. We must behold these secrets in optimal condition. Vandervillians. A coincidental naming. Or is there some deeper con or is there some deeper connection? No better way to find out than to go do it. Alright, here we go. Everyone comfortable? Let's see what the device has for us. I'm Godbrand, wanderer of stars and weaponsmith extraordinaire. First Lord of House Mandeville. This is the Godbrand, our founding father. I record this message that my descendants may know the truth of their cosmic origins. The tale is long, but I bid you watch until the very end. Heirs of mine, I am not a man born of this star, or even a man at all. I am of the Mandevillians, a race which hails from the far side of the Great Expanse. Mandevillians are parasitic, are parasitic symbionts. We can only survive by bonding with other life forms. Once our essence has taken root, we supplant the host's mind and strengthen its physical structures, imbuing our new form with a steel-like resilience. I knew there was something alien about the impossible imperfectness. Then, through the conjoining of compatible host bodies, we produce offspring which harbor the next generation of Mandevillians. This symbiotic variant eventually takes to the stars in search of potential new vessels, adapting and multiplying. So it was that our race proliferated and spread throughout the cosmos. Until, tragically, our flourishing civilization was brought to an abrupt end. Ah. 
Every planet upon which we Mandevillians resided was visited by an inexplicable calamity. Our societies were brought to ruin by life forms suddenly twisted into horrific nightmares. That sounds rather familiar. So even stars as far removed from in time and space were ravaged by the top final days. <laughs> Desperate to avoid the same fate, a comrade and I boarded a ship and fled upwards into the starry night. We flew and flew until we found a planet, your planet, untouched by the phenomenon, but the rigors of the journey had so damaged our craft that we were forced to make an uncontrolled descent. I alone crawled from the wreckage, badly injured and near death, but even as I resigned myself to perishing on this unfamiliar world, I was found by a man who had come looking for the falling star. As a rule, Mandevillians do not take intelligent life forms for hosts. After hearing my story, however, this sympathetic gentleman offered to become my vessel of his own accord. He was himself afflicted by an incurable malady, and with little time left to live, he se seemed content to know that his ailing body could provide safe haven for another. With his blessing, I set about transferring my essence. The man's form was revitalized and purged of its fatal frailty. Yet the mind which dwelled within was now my own. I went on to build a new home for myself here, making use of my people's technology to ply the blacksmith's trade. I wed a local lass, and together we had a child. Although not pure Mandevillian, our offspring exhibits the same enhanced physiology. A boon I suspect shall be passed down for generations through the bloodline of House Mandeville. My dear descendants, the folk of this star are most fragile. Yet as the first men I encountered did demonstrate... They are nevertheless capable of surpassing love and generosity. As the last of the Mandevillians, I have but one request to make of you. Pray, employ your superlative attributes and my armory of Mandeville armaments for the betterment of these wonderful peoples whom I hold in the highest regard. This explains so much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what an astounding development. What the fuck? I, Hildebrand Helenor Maximilian Mandeville, shall heed the passionate plea of my own lustrous forebearer. No case is too big nor too small, should it be in the service to my fellow man. Uh, he learns he's a being and he's still business as usual. <laughs> yep, this is Hildebrand we're talking about. But wait a minute. Then why is this lady too young so monstrously strong? Is she a descendant of aliens too? Well, well, this is most unexpected. 
Never did it cross my mind that our esteemed ancestor might hail from beyond the heaven. But I do wonder if that self-same blood still runs thick in our veins. The family tree I glanced over some years ago suggests that... Ah, but is unimportant. My present purpose remains unchanged. I will bring our mandeville weaponry to the peak of perfection. For God grant, and for the good of this star. Ah, before I forget, I have a gift for you, Chris. Pray, await me outside that the Aetherite Plaza, and I shall bring it to you forthwith. We're back. Okay. There's Aria. There's Fire Axe. Where there's Corlash. Alright. Let's talk to Delion. Some truths can shatter the foundations of brought to life. I have to say this wasn't one of them. A more staggering discover. Those who pursue my publication are allies against the ever-expanding lies, deception without exception. I have misjudged the Shalian people, and they are not collaborators or the architects of conspiracy. They are but seekers of knowledge, unafraid to plumb the depths of the unknown. That master poo-poo, -poo, though, that one still has ulterior I'll bet my life on it. Stand ready for we shall have need of your strength when he shows his true colors. Yeah, sure. I hope, I hope you've not been waiting. Wrong, wrong right. voice, dude. I hope you've not been Shut waiting long. <laughs> this is the gift I mentioned. Master Poo Poo's earnest quest inspired me to indulge in a spot of clockwork craftsmanship between weaponsmithing sessions. I thought it only fitting that you be the one to care for this diminutive simulacrum. Consider it a memento of your, your adventures together. As for our Mandeville weaponry project, your assistance is still very much welcome whensoever you can spare the time. Until then, my dear Chris. And yes, we will be getting back to that as soon as I, you know, remember that I need to be playing this game more. Anyways, um, meanwhile, elsewhere in Thavnir. Lord Von Hoodie, I come with ill tidings. Professor Luge set an ambush for his nemesis, but was once more defeated. His current whereabouts are unclear. That blithering idiot! No matter. Preparations are well underway. The manifestation will proceed as planned.
Well, this is a fine kettle of fuck all. Mm-hmm. So this motherfucker's amassing an army. Great. And another Manderville quest line completed. Hmm. This can't possibly end badly. <laughs> it's but Nashu brought up a very interesting question. What's Julian's excuse? Like seriously, she she has she pretty much has the power to rival that of freaking. I mean, she's beating the fuck out of both her son and her husband. Let let's let's not mince words here. Ooh. All right, but anyways, we got us the wind up poo poo minion. I wonder what happens if we pair them all together. Will Only it do one way to find out? Gather, gather up and see what happens. Where are you? Where I'm are right you? behind you, numb nuts. We're over here, Arya. Where'd, where'd, where'd Corlash go? Hiding. Ah. Except we can see uh, you on the map. I never said well. <laughs> Fair That's enough. True. He didn't. And they do like nothing. They, they blink. Yeah, but they always blink. See, even away from each other, they blink. Wait, 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 wait. I, I have something to say. <laughs> they just chase you around with their hands in, their hands in the air. Like they just don't care. Well, I say care, damn it. I'm getting my black Hayate minion again. Anyways, another Hildebrand quest line successfully completed. With that being said, that's going to be it for Kruznik Sanctuary. Thank you to Arya Stormborn, Lord Firex, and Corlash for joining us. Yep. Of course. And thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the show. If you're watching on Twitch, stay tuned for some extra streaming time. But if you haven't done it yet, hit that follow button and turn on notifications so you're well informed. If you're watching on YouTube and you like this video, click the like button below and leave a comment. Subscribe by clicking here and click the bell icon for notifications. Click here to watch more. Click here to watch the full Endwalker playlist. And click here to watch the next episode when it comes out. See you in a bit.